What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS, and today I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak iOS 6.0 through 6.1.2 using a jailbreak tool called Evasion. Now if you are running iOS 6.1.3 or higher, there is a tethered jailbreak for 6.1.3, but there is no jailbreak at the time of making this video for iOS 6.1.4. So for those of you who have never jailbroken before, you're probably wondering what it exactly is. Basically, jailbreaking allows you to modify your device in ways that Apple won't. For example, you could get a tweak that allows you to change your slide to unlock to a tap to unlock on your lock screen. You can also apply cool looking themes which change the way your entire device looks and makes it look a lot cleaner than what Apple has. Now for those of you who have never jailbroken before, I'll explain the difference between tethered and untethered. So with an untethered jailbreak, you can use your device as normal every time you need to boot it up or boot it down. But with a tethered jailbreak, every time you want to reboot your device, you can still power it on and use it, but some system applications like Safari and Cydia do not load. So enough explaining, let's get to how you jailbreak. So you're obviously going to need a device running iOS 6, but you're also going to need a computer. So once you're there, you're going to want to open your web browser. Then, you're going to want to go to the address bar and type in evasion.com, but put a zero instead of an O. It'll come up with a web page featuring all the devices capable of running iOS 6. It's going to give you three options for download, Linux, Mac OS X, or Windows. There's also some requirements, so you're going to need a couple minutes just to get this done. Then, like I said before, you're going to need a computer, iTunes if you're running Windows, and you're going to need a USB cable to connect your device to your computer. There's also some important things you should do before you jailbreak. First, you should definitely back up your iDevice to iCloud or iTunes. You're also going to want to disable the passcode lock if you've got one, because it can cause some issues during the jailbreaking. You're also going to want to avoid using your device or iTunes during the process. And if you have any problems during the process, it's always safe to reboot your device. So once you're ready with that, just scroll back up to the top and click which operating system you're using. For me, it's Mac OS X. So once you've clicked the link and it's downloaded, Open the jailbreak tool. Now just double click on evasion. It'll come up with a dialog box and you should be able to see a grayed out jailbreak button. Now plug in your device. You can see as soon as you plugged it in, the jailbreak button lit up. So when you're ready, click jailbreak. It'll say connecting to your device and then retrieving device information to generate jailbreak data. Then it'll say preparing stage one jailbreak data. Then it's going to say waiting for device reboot. Just remember this entire time did not touch your device at all. When your device is done rebooting, it'll say, waiting for device to be ready. It'll say, injecting stage 2 jailbreak data. This is the second of three steps. Now you can see it moved to step 3 and it is now installing Cydia. As I said before, you can just think of Cydia as the app store for jailbreaking. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're going to have to go on your device, so do touch your device now, it's okay. And you're going to want to unlock it. Now on the page that you have room on, you're going to see a new icon that says jailbreak. You're going to want to tap that icon, and it's automatically going to launch it and then quit out of it right away. Now you can just set your device back down. It'll now say it's going to remount something. It'll say your file system has been completed, and it's injecting the final jailbreak data. That is going to tell you that your jailbreak is complete, but it's not done yet. It's going to have to reboot a couple of times before you can use your device. Alright, so now that we're done with the computer part of this, it's safe to unplug your device. And as it's booting up, it will be installing some final jailbreak data. When it's finally done, unlock your device. You'll see that a new icon was installed called Cydia. This is where you're going to be able to get all your new tweaks and themes. To set up Cydia, just launch it. It'll give you a dialog that says preparing file system. When it's done, it's just going to respring your device. Now for those of you who have never jailbroken before, a respring is just a quick refresh. When you go back to your home screen, you may notice that your screen brightness is turned all the way down. This sometimes happens after you've jailbroken iOS 6, and it can easily be fixed by just heading over to settings and readjusting the brightness. So that's the end of the final jailbreak process. Now, since you've finally jailbroken, the whole point was to get extra things that Apple didn't allow. You're going to want to go on to Cydia. Now when you first launch it, it's going to say loading, and it's going to ask you if you're a user, developer, or a hacker. I'm just a user, so I'm just going to click user, and then click done. It'll give you a dialog box that says reloading, and then there'll be a black bar at the top that says reloading packages, and things like that. So if you've jailbroken before, you know how the rest of this goes, and you can just disregard the last part of this video. But if you've never jailbroken before, here's how you install your first tweak. A good place to start is the Featured section on the home page of Cydia. Just click on it and then you'll see a bunch of more options you can click on. For now, just click on Tools to start with. Now all of what you see here are tweaks. There's a lot to choose from, but for now, I'm just going to show you 5 Icon Dock. Once you click on it, you'll see a bunch of information about the tweak, and then you'll see an Install button in the top right corner. Click that and then click install. It'll ask you to confirm and just click confirm. It'll then show you a long broken down list of all the things you're installing. When that's done, just click restart springboard or respring for short. It'll show a loading icon that normally freezes and then you can just slide to unlock. You can see that when you drag an icon down to your dock, you can now put five icons versus the traditional four. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe. Thanks guys.